In this video, we're going to look at inclined plane problems. So problems involving a slope. So we've got a block of mass 2 kilograms being released from rest on a smooth slope. Smooth slope inclined to the horizontal at an angle of 20 degrees. So when we see a smooth slope, that means we've got no friction to worry about. Smooth slope means no friction. And we need to draw the forces onto our diagram. So what forces are acting on our block? So I'm going to draw a tilted set of axes in line with the plane. So tilted by 20 degrees. So what forces are acting on the block? So vertically down towards the center of the earth, we're going to have weight, the weight of the block. So it's mass is two kilograms and its weight is mass times gravity. So that'll be two times, well, acceleration due to gravity. Two times acceleration due to gravity is just two G. So what other force is there? We have the normal reaction, which acts perpendicular to the plane. And that's the force that stops it going through the ground or flying off the surface. So we've got the normal reaction and we've got the weight of the block. And they are the only forces, there's no friction, that we've got to worry about. The angle here is 20 degrees. So you're always going to have the same angle that the slope is inclined, so the same angle as the inclined plane is going to be the angle between the weight and our tilted plane. That's because we've tilted it by 20 degrees, so it's moved 20 degrees from the vertical. You could also say that this is a right angle here, if this force was extended, which makes this 70 degrees. And this is a right angle here, so 90 minus the 70 is 20 again. But the angle here, the angle of the slope, is going to be the same as the angle between the tilted axis and the weight. So we could do, we could look at the forces perpendicular to the plane, but we don't need to work out R, we need to work out the acceleration. So we're going to look at the forces parallel to the plane. Forces parallel to the plane, there's only one. We're going to do F equals MA. So the forces, the force, the only force acting is 2G and it's sine 20, 2G sine 20. because we're splitting the 2G force up into 2G cos 20, which is going to act perpendicular to the plane, and 2G sine 20, which is going to act parallel to the plane. So 2G sine 20 equals MA, which is 2A. So A is going to be, divide both sides by 2, just G sine 20. So we can type into the calculator 9.8, sine 20 and to two significant figures we get 3.4 meters per second squared and i'll put 2sf in brackets okay here's another problem so we've got a block of mass 10 kilograms this time being released from the rest on a rough slope so rough slope means we've got friction inclined to the horizontal at an angle of 30 degrees this time, and the coefficient of friction, mu, is 0 0.5. So friction max equals mu times r, and mu is 0 0.5. So let's draw the forces on. So we've got a tilted axis, we're tilting it by 30 degrees this time. And what forces do we have? So we've got 
acting vertically down, 10 G, the weight of a mass of 10 kilograms is 10 G. We've got the normal reaction acting perpendicular to the plane. And we've got friction, which is going to oppose the motion like that. So we're going to have to do this in steps. So we want to get to F equals MA going parallel to the plane, but we need to know friction to do that. And to find friction, we need to find the normal reaction. So we're going to look at the forces perpendicular to the plane first. So it's not going to be moving up or down. It's not going to go through the plane. It's not going to fly off. So we can say the forces up equal the forces down. So we've got R equals, I haven't written the angle in here, so that's 30 degrees. We tilted it by 30 degrees because 30 degrees was the inclination. So R equals 10 G cos 30 because the cos part is the part acting perpendicular to the plane. So R equals 10 G cos 30. And I'm going to leave it like that. And we're going to say, now we can work out friction, which is going to be mu R, which is going to be 0 0.5 times 10 G cos 30 which can be 5G cos 30. So that's friction. And now we can move on to the forces parallel. I just put par to the plane. So we're going to use F equals MA because it is accelerating. F equals MA. So the forces with the motion so it's going to be moving down it is 10 G sine 30 minus the friction, which is 5 G cos 30 equals M A, which is 10 A. So we can say acceleration is 10 G sine 30 minus 5 G cos 30. over 10 and we're just going to type that into the calculator and then give our answer to two significant figures again so we've got 10 times 9.8 sine 30 minus 5 times 9.8 cos 30 over 10 to two significant figures we should get 0 0.66 meters per second per second. Okay, here's another question. So pause the video. Try and give this one a go. So we're doing it in a different order. This time we're working to find out the coefficient of friction. If you're not sure what to do, just draw the forces on. Try and do part of the question and then press play. Okay, so let's draw the forces on. So we're tilting the axes by 20 degrees. And the forces, so we've got the normal reaction. We've got, that should be vertically down. We've got 5G, which is the weight. And we've got a rough slope, so we've got friction opposing the motion. And we've got a 20 degree angle in here because we've tilted the axes by 20 degrees. So this time we know the acceleration is 2 
meters per second per second. So we're going to start the other way around with looking at the forces parallel to the plane. So we look at the forces parallel to the plane first. So we've got the force with the motion is 5g sine 20. Opposing the motion is friction. And that equals ma, so this is f equals ma. I should have noted that first. And that equals 5a, so 5 times 2, which is 10. So, what's friction? Well, if I add friction over to the other side, so plus F to both sides, that's 10 plus F, and minus 10 from both sides, so we've got 5G sine 20, minus 10 is friction, so we know friction. We've got friction equals mu times r. So we know friction. We're going to need to find r in order to find mu. So let's look at the forces perpendicular to the plane. And it's not going to be accelerating. So we can say the forces up equal the forces down. So r is 5g cos 20. So we know friction, we know R, we can find mu now. So mu is going to be friction divided by the normal reaction. So 5G sine 20 minus 10 over 5G cos 20. We'll type it into the calculator. And we get to two significant figures again, we've got 0 0.15.